Hi guys and welcome to another new daily movie review. Okay, um, continuing on from yesterday now. Um, this would be the second of the revival episodes for the 313th overall, second of series 12. And we're going to talk about Star Wars, The Force Awakens, the seventh installment in the iconic Star Wars franchise was released on the 21st of, no, sorry, on the 15th of December 20, 2015, and picks up 30 years after Return of the Jedi leaves off. And so, our new heroes, Rey, who may or may not be the daughter of Luke Skywalker, uh, Finn, a, a stormtrooper for the First Order, those are the new villains. He's, um, let me put this into perspective, Finn is a defective stormtrooper, because he defects from the First Order, and helps out the good guys who are in a search for Luke Skywalker, who has gone into exile since the end of Return of the Jedi, because Kylo Ren, the leader of the First Order, who was once one of Luke's pupils, turned dark and turned to the First Order. Now, this was because of, well, I forget his name, but the giant, you know, head thing. Um, now, of course, the good guys are, of course, accompanied by a droid called BB-8. Yes, uh, BB-8. And, of course, Princess Leia and Harrison Ford are back. Yes, played by their original actors. And yes, Mark Hamill does return to his role of Luke Skywalker, but then we don't see him till the very end of the film. Okay, now, what do I think of The Force Awakens? I thought it was a welcome return to the franchise after 33 years sorry 33 did I hear myself saying 32 sorry after 32 years well technically it was after 10 years since Revenge of the Sith yeah but you get my point it was 32 years between Return of the Jedi, which was in 1983, in terms of releases, and this one was like 2015. 32 years difference. In terms of story, it takes place 30 years after. But, uh, personally, my personal opinion, I thought it was one of the best films in the franchise. Now, it's just an opinion, you don't have to agree. I won't crucify you, you don't crucify me. It's an opinion. And that's it for this episode. Oh uh, yes, I'll give it a 10, sorry. That's it for this episode. And uh, join me tomorrow as another film falls under the spotlight. Until then, bye.